Hi everyone, I'm going to offer to you today the readings for the upcoming Sunday. This Sunday will be June the 18th, 2023. It is the third Sunday after Pentecost and the reading is proper 11 year A of our lectionary cycle. A reading from Genesis chapter 18, 1 to 15 and then Chapter 21, 1 to 7. The Most High appeared to Abraham near the great trees of Mamre, while he was sitting at the entrance to his tent in the heat of the day. Abraham looked up and saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed low to the ground. He said, If I have found favor in your eyes, my Lord, do not pass your servant by. Let a little water be brought, and then you may all wash your feet and rest under this tree. Let me get you something to eat, so that you can be refreshed and then go on your way, now that you have come to your servant. Very well, they said, do as you say. So Abraham hurried into the tent to Sarah. Quick, he said, get three measures of fine flour and knead it and bake some bread. Then he ran to the herd and selected a choice tender calf and gave it to a servant who hurried to prepare it. He then brought some curds and milk and the calf that had been prepared and set these before them. While they ate, he stood near them under a tree. Where is your wife, Sarah? they asked him. There, in the tent, he said. Then the Most High said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Now, Sarah was listening at the entrance to the tent, which was behind him. Abraham and Sarah were already old and well advanced in years, and Sarah was past the age of childbearing. So Sarah laughed to herself as she thought, After I am worn out, my master is old. Will I now have this pleasure? Then the Most High said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Will I really have a child now that I am old? Is anything too hard for the Most High? I will return to you at the appointed time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Sarah was afraid, so she lied and said, I did not laugh. But he said, Yes, you did laugh. Now the Most High was gracious to Sarah, as the Most High had said, and the Most High did for Sarah what the Most High had promised. Sarah became pregnant and bore a son to Abraham in his old age at the very time God had promised him. Abraham gave him the name Isaac to the son Sarah bore him. When his son Isaac was eight days old, Abraham circumcised him as God had commanded him. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. Sarah said, God has brought me laughter, and everyone who hears about this will laugh with me. And she added, who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children. Yet I have borne him a son in his old age. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. Chapter 5, verses 1 to 8. Therefore, Since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out God's love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom God has given us. You see, just at the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates God's own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reading chapter 9, verse 35, through to chapter 10, verse 8. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then Jesus said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the Lord's harvest field. He called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, son of Zebedee, and his brother, John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, Freely give. Do not take along any gold or silver or copper in your belts. Take no bag for the journey or extra tunic or sandals or a staff, for the worker is worthy their keep. Whatever town or village you enter, search for some worthy person there and stay at his house until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake the dust off your feet when you leave that home or town. I tell you the truth, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Be on your guard against people. They will hand you over to the local councils and flog you in their synagogues. 
On my account, you will, brought before, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say. For it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brothers and sisters will betray one another and have each other put to death. Parents will betray their own children and children will turn against their parents and have them put to death. All will hate you because of me. But those who stand firm to the end will be saved. When you are persecuted in one place, flee to another. I tell you the truth, you will not finish going through the cities of Israel before the human one comes. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> 